let me get the bolts off pull that out like i said i don't know what i'm getting into i've never done this before but uh so far so far it looks like we might be able to do this all right good morning let's see it is wednesday morning uh yesterday we went and got the truck aligned and uh they only had one thing they had to replace uh, i'll get the pop the hood up here in a bit uh they had to replace the uh tie rod assembly uh going across other than that uh they had two shims that they had to uh, replace this axle was out just a little bit but uh today's project is uh we're going to try to replace or repair what would be the rear main seal on this um i've already i've already busted the nuts loose i stuck a socket to kind of lock that in and then uh, i took my socket and a little expansion bar so i've already got all these loose i'm hoping that uh i get the nuts out and i can just kind of wiggle that off uh without too much uh effort and then uh i did buy the seal and i'm hoping i bought the the proper one and looked it up but as you can see it's all oily from leaking so so that's my little project today the weather's supposed to be fairly nice today uh it's cool or say nice meaning it's cool uh it is supposed to rain a little later so i will update you as i make progress on this um i'm gonna get the bolts out i've already loosened them up i'm gonna get the bolts out see if i can pop that off fairly easy and then see if we have the right seal before we go any further so anyway talk to you in a bit all right we got lucky um i got the bolts off and uh this came off by hand so you can see what it looks like and that's the seal we want to replace right there uh i have never done this before so uh this is all going to be new <laughs> um from what i've seen on the internet and looked around i got to take this piece off right here and that'll bring this whole piece off and hopefully i have the right size seal i'm going to get the other seal out and uh, just make sure it's the right one so let's get that seal see if it works and okay here's the new seal and just gently placing it over there it looks like it should could be the right one so uh, what I did is I just did a bunch of Google searching to uh, to find this seal but uh, it does look like it'll be the right one so we're gonna take this um, housing off right here um, looks like it, it we might need to get uh, either another gasket or some gasket stuff to put around that but we'll pop that off see if we can pull that and then pop this one out and see if we can press this one back in so let me uh let me get the bolts off pull that out like i said i don't know what i'm getting into i've never done this before but uh so far so far it looks like we might be able to do this so uh let's pop this off and see what happens okay so far so good here take a look um got uh so i got the bolts out and i pried it loose so this is what we have and this is what we need to replace is that seal there so it looks like we need to get some gasket stuff clean this up real good um see if we can pop this um seal out and hopefully press the new one in without uh without damaging it sorry about that uh, without damaging it so anyway <laughs> I uh, I had uh, I had been kind of putting this off because I didn't know how tough or hard of a deal this was gonna be but uh, so far it uh, it looks like uh, it's going fairly good and you gotta understand I'm doing this with just basic hand tools I'm in the dirt here doing this too uh, so because uh, uh, the wash might run and I can't get my truck across the wash 
Um, the only other thing I saw was I'm missing a bolt right there. So we're going to pull that bolt out and buy a new bolt put in there. Um, the other thing I might try to do is my uh, glow plug to heat it up is, uh, is going bad. But uh, oh, this poor generator, man, this generator, I got like 20, I want, I've been saying 25 thousand hours it might be close to 26,000 hours on this thing so uh, it has uh, and I think I've replaced almost everything on here um, the last time I was home I had I took these off of the old generator that spare generator I bought and replaced these because they were leaking so all right what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go home and get the right stuff to uh, to clean this up I'm gonna have to go get some uh, gasket stuff and um, and then uh, we're gonna try to pop that out without damaging the metal plate and put the new one in without damaging the uh, the new seal so uh, I got a couple ideas of how I'm gonna do it but uh, so anyway that's where we're at so this is uh, this actually is a knock on wood this isn't going too bad so far so uh, I will keep you updated might have to run to the store we got Callie up in the truck, as you can see, the old Forge right there. Um, we got Callie up in the truck. We might run into town um, and uh, get that. So uh, talk to you in a bit. Okay, uh, we've already ran into town, got what we needed. Um, I've already got the uh, the old uh, seal out and and cleaned up. And the way I got it out is I set it in there. And then I tapped it out so between the pieces of wood right there and then the way I'm gonna put the new one in is I'm gonna set it on a piece of wood there and then take a block and hammer it in there gently so it doesn't mess it up I've already got it cleaned up so you can see I'll wipe it down one more time uh oh hang on let me get her all right so uh, sorry about that Kelly jumped out of the truck there was somebody on the horse riding around um so got that cleaned up we got uh, this cleaned up so this is good um got that clean so uh i'm gonna get a light i'm gonna put a light coating of oil around uh, the seal when we get ready to tap it in there uh, help it go in there other than that, as long as it goes in there pretty good, we should be all right. So uh, I'm gonna set you guys up and you can watch me either tear this up or it's either gonna work. So uh, let me set you guys up and you can watch. All right, I got this block of wood and it just fits in the hole there. So we're gonna tap it in there. checking now is make sure it's set seated however you want to say it all the way around so it looks good so that's what we got uh, it might work it might work all right uh, next thing I'm gonna put some uh, gasket scuff around here and uh, see what happens so I'll talk to you in a bit Okay, I got the gasket stuff on there. As you can see, uh, I'm gonna put a light coat of oil around the ring, and then uh, we're gonna slide it on to there. So let me set you guys up, and you guys can watch this. Hopefully, there we go.
all right it's been a little while stuff's uh, cured or dried a little bit so everything looks good I've snugged up all of this um, I got I don't know if you can see it but I got the bolt out of that hole there it's the same bolt that goes in here so we're gonna run down to the store so we can replace that bolt um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the flywheel back on uh, that's pretty should be fairly simple process and um let's see what else oh the glow plug i gotta find a glow plug though so all in all this uh this went pretty good if it works so i won't know until we run it but uh we'll see we'll see real quick let me show you how i uh so in order to keep it from spinning around i take a socket and i wedged it up there and i did the same thing when I was taking it off but it had did it on this side and then uh, I just take my socket I got a little piece of bar and uh, tighten it up but I just wanted to show you guys that's how I uh, I stopped it from uh, spinning as I stuck a socket up in there so all right let me tighten it up and uh, we'll be almost done all right I think uh, we're done messing with the generator for today We'll do a quick recap. I'll show you what I did. So I went and got, I did replace the bolt and we replaced the main seal in the back back there. I've been running it. It's been running for about an hour, almost two hours. Uh, I don't see any leaking, so oil leaking. So hopefully we fix the problem. I uh, did a couple other things. Um, I don't know if you guys remember when I had my satellite dish mounted on my headboard. Uh, it cracked the aluminum and I found the US Army license plate. So I went ahead and put a license plate up there, covered a hole. Um, oh, here, real quick, real quick, let me pop the hood and I'll show you uh, that part that they had to replace. Hang on. All right, so what they had to replace was, let's see if you guys can see it. This bar right here, the tie rod ends, right here, as you can see them go down there. So it's tie rod in assembly. Uh, this bar was two hundred and seventeen dollars. Um, I had Teresa run up to pick it up, um, and uh, I had it put in. But uh, so that that was one thing they had to do. And then we'll walk over here. I'll show you where they shimmed the. Uh, this uh, the middle axle here so they had to shim the axle right here um, they took a couple shims out so these shims right here are actually these are just he said I'm just gonna put them in the front they will be spares so if you ever align the truck again uh, you have the shims right there so they had to take a couple shims out so they aligned all three axles they use a uh, they use a uh, computer thing they mount it to the front anyway they get it all done uh it looks good everything's good headboards doing good uh let's see what else we got um i did talk uh we i was supposed to get some loads for next week just running over to california and back I did not get them um we did get a load loads on saturday out of arizona going to uh out of phoenix going up to uh, uh ohio so we're gonna go back to work on Saturday. Uh, it does call for eight foot tarps. So uh, we're gonna get our big tarps and uh, we'll get our tarps on. I'm not too sure, uh, since we're gonna use eight foot tarps, I might just throw them on the trailer for right now. Um, I'm trying to keep this step clean. So I'm not too sure where I'm gonna put all those tarps, but uh, our neighbors driving around. Oh man, so anyway. Uh, I've been off for a while. I think it's been a couple weeks. So uh, I'm ready to go back to work All right, that's it for today. I'm gonna clean up my mess um, and then uh, Today's Wednesday uh, I got Thursday Friday start gathering my stuff up load up my stuff into the truck and uh, Get going so I'll uh, talk to you guys in a bit. Thanks for watching. Bye